Hello everyone, this is Yamin and uh, welcome to Laravel Resume Management System project. In the previous tutorial, we added this uh, order option. Uh, admin can see all the order. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to add a search option over here so that admin can search a specific order or a specific name. Okay, so let's go back to our code. And over here, you can see the name, product, uh, address, phone number, all the data we are actually showing from here you can see for each dollar data as dollar data so what we are going to do is that we are going to add a search option over here so we will first declare a let's say form and inside this form uh, we will have a input field over here let's say input type will be text uh, let's say name equal to search and uh, let's say it will also have a style let's say the text color it will be blue now let's also have a input type submit button uh, so we don't require name so over here uh, we will say value it will be search and uh, let's also add a booster button class let's say it will be btn btn uh, let's say success so let's save it and uh, let's refresh over here so over here you can see a input field and the uh, search button over here so now we are going to like uh, change a little design over here so over here uh, we are going to add another div over here so let me just say over here div just after this admin.nav verb so in this div we are going to declare a class let's say over here con container so and uh, this div will int uh, over here so let's save it and now if you refresh you can see that uh, the search option and other option like this okay so now uh, let's add the code so that we can uh, search over here so over here over here it uh, it will require action then it will require a method let's say math, the method will be post uh, sorry get for search and we also need to add at the rate of csr field over here so let's say inside this action we will say url then over here let's say over here slash search okay so let's save it control s now let's go to web.php and create this url so click web.php and over here let me just copy this on control c control v and over here instead of orders it will be search and uh, let's say the function name will be search as well so let's save it control s now we'll go to admin controller and create this search option so let's go to admin controller and over here let me just copy this order function control c control v so instead of order it will be search and over here we will say request request dollar request so we will get the uh, search value from this request so okay so we will uh, declare a variable over here so let's say over here the variable variable will be search as well so dollar data search is equal to dollar request then this arrow sign then we'll say a c a r c h search uh, this search is actually coming from here coming from uh, here you can see the name equal to search so now after this uh, we are going to say over here dollar data is equal to order our table name is order name order so we don't have to change anything over here so we just going to say over here where then we are going to say uh, let's say we want to search uh, all the data let's say by name let's say for now so if you go to our database you can see that the name is uh, name uh, so <clears throat> over here we will just say over here name then we will we'll give a comma over here then another single quotation over here we will say like then we'll give a comma 
another single quotation over here this time we will give first sentence and then we will give a dot not comma dot then dollar sign then we will say this search so we will say over here is a r search search again we will give another dot then this uh, single quotation again first sentence after this we will say over here get uh, to first bracket okay so let me just save it so over here uh, it will get the specific search value then uh, using that value it will search that specific name in the order table and then it will return the value with that uh, specific data now if you go to orders.day.php you can already see that we use uh, dollar data as dollar data uh, to show the all the orders so uh, it will just right now it will show only the specific search data now if you use dollar data to over here let's say then uh, you cannot uh, use this blade you need to create another blade uh, with the same code you just need to change over here from uh, instead of dollar data you need to say over here dollar data to as dollar data to and over here as well so we will not uh, do that we will use dollar data actually so let me just save it and uh, if we refresh right now and uh, let's say we will search by let's say shakil and press uh, shakil and press enter you can see it gave us two value now let's say you want to search uh, the data by name and also food name or also phone number uh, whatever you want let's say you also on to search by food name then uh, what you have to do is that uh, you just need to press enter over here then we'll say over here give a arrow sign another arrow sign then we'll say over here or then we'll say capital w h e r e where and uh, let me just copy the whole thing from here control c then control v and uh, if you want to search by food name then uh, we need to write over here instead of name it will be food name so let me just save it control s now let's refresh <clears throat> okay now let's say we want to search only the soup let's say over here soup and press enter so you can see all the uh, food name with the soup data so this is how you create a search in uh, in this project so so the next video will be the last tutorial and in that tutorial i will just fix some error and some issue that we have in our project so thank you very much for watching and if you like the video please like the video and if you have any confusion or question then let me uh, then ask me in the comment section i will surely reply back and please don't forget to subscribe